Uh, in this video, we're going to look at the Cotomus key and how to use it to identify organisms. So, the Cotomus key, die means two. So, it is a key which has two branches. So, two branches means die Cotomus key. So, this key is used to identify things by asking yes no question so you have an organism you ask does it have feet does it have legs yes go to three no go to five so uh, so on we're going to look at this example and how to use dichotomous key to identify these organisms so here uh, if you look uh, animal number a does it uh, feet with three toes so does it have feet with three toes no it has one two three four five so this is not the question which we should ask it does not have feet with three toes so it has feet with five toes yes five these are five toes so go to three look here let's go to question three now this is question one two this is three so we will go to question three now spikes along back look here it has spikes along its back so it has so let's go to five go to question five blonde rounded head does it have rounded head or like longitudinal head like this elongated it has blonde and rounded head so the name of this animal is this Amblyrhynchus crustaceus so we write the the letter of the animal here a animal number a now let's go to animal number b this is b it has small feet but they seem like they have three toes not four so feet with three toes yes go to two this is two has a cooler or crest uh, or crest on head no it does not have something on its head like uh, this one or like this one the crest in the head so uh, no color or cast on head so the name of this animal is Calisades minotus so B is number here we'll put it here animal B now we're done with this animal and this let's go to C okay so it has feet with three toes yes you can see here it has three toes so let's go to question two now question two has color or crest on head yes this is the col color on the head so let's go to four question number four here okay uh, ridge, uh, ridges extended along back and tail does it have ridges like these ridges no it has nothing so no ridges along back or tail the name of this animal is calom caloma personae so we're going to write number c here we identified this animal is number c now let's go to d d uh, feet with three toes here one two three four five and uh, now feet with five toes yes go to three this is three uh, spikes along back no it does not have spikes no spikes along the back let's go to six this is question six large raised scales on skin does it have scales on the skin like this animal no uh, scales on skin are not large or raised so the name of this animal is Varanus uh, comodonesis. So we're going to write D. It is already done for us here. Let's go to this animal. Number E. Um, it says feet with three toes. Now one, two, three, four, five. So let's go uh, feet with five toes. Let's go to three. This is question number three. Spikes along the back. Yes, it has spikes along the back. Go to five. This is five blonde rounded head no the head is elongated it says uh, elongated head so the name of this animal is mm, cyclora luisi so we're going to write e here so we identified animal number e let's go to f 
Uh, it says feet with three toes. How many toes? One, two, three, four. So not three. Let's say feet with five toes. Let's go to question three. Uh, spikes along the back. No, does not have. So no spikes along back. Let's go to six. Six. Here is six. Uh, large raised scales. Yes, it has scales and large scales on its back on the skin. So its name is uh, Abronia gramania. So then the letter of this animal will put it here. F. So F. Uh, we still have this. The last one. Uh, how many feet it has? Three. So feet with three toes. Two. Let's go to two. Okay. Has a color or crest on head? Yes, it does have crest on uh, on its head. So the uh, has has color or crest has a color or crest. Let's go to four. This is question four. Ridges extended along the back. Yes, these are the ridges extended along the back. So the name of this animal is Brochesia. Uh, Paramata. So I write its name is G here. Okay, this is G. And this is how we use the dichotomous key to answer questions about uh, or just to identify animals or something. You ask, does it have yes? Go to two. No, go to three. Then when you go to three, you have if it has go to five until you finish all the questions and you find the right name of the animal. I hope that was helpful. Until next uh, video. Ciao.